to other channel is the mail rule. With using mail rule, you can monitor all SMTP connections. Let's first enable notification. When any incidents occur related with the mail rule, admin will receive an mail from the MyDLP server. A mail rule can again consists of the source, destinations, and information types. You can choose source as a all sources under the predefined section. You can choose destinations. And all domains and you can choose information types under the predefined section but there are lots of way to protect your file I will show you one of them this is called is a partial document matching for the partial document matching you should first create a document database under the object Tab. By clicking plus button, please enter the partial document matching database name and click to save. Now I will upload my file inside my document database by clicking plus button. But before that, I would like to show you my file. As you see here, lots of information but I couldn't find any specific measure like credit card number uh, like ABA routing number so we can protect completely with using the partial document matching there are two upload type available web based for the single files my DLP multiple upload file for the folders now I will use the web based uploader and the save. Then you should create an information type for the partial document matching under the user defined section. Please click the plus button and click the information types. First, enter a descriptive name as a partial document matching PDM. Then select your data formats type and click plus button and find the, your document databases inside the partial document matching database now select the document databases and you should also assign a threshold value we can increase or decrease your threshold value depending on your policy and click to save then again save then drag and drop this partial document information type under the information types column then select your action Again, there are five type of action, but I will use the quarantine and my file and my data will be blocked, lock and keep one copy of the file stored under the MyDLP. Now, let's open my mail. And enter the subject. Now I will open my file again and copy one part of the file. Randomly, I copied some part of the file and I will paste into my mail then try to send now I will receive a message within the five seconds from my DLP server let's click send and receive all policies now I got the message and my message blocked by my DLP because my DLP detect this data is belong to the part of the critical document and is protected by the MyDLP and you can find easily from the logs and you can download my message also and 
if you send if you want you can send this file by clicking Greek Q button under the policy column and you can download my message this is my blocked message also you can set a specific message for each user or for each domain and you can use an Active Directory user while setting up your mail rule or you can all sources or you can create and find a new user inside your Active Directory domain for example I will choose David. Let's check the user. Yes, David exists inside the Active Directory domain. Then click the save. You can also use Active Directory users as a source. And again, a destination can be assigned as a specific domain like Google, Yahoo.com. Or also, you can define a new source and you can use source domain for example I will define my dlp.com so if anyone try to send a file from my dlp.com to the google.com the message will be blocked let's expand and see better and delete David in this configuration my message will be quarantined by my DLP and administrator will receive a message about the latest incidents I will set a Yahoo mail as an administrator account currently now let's check my Yahoo mail as you see here I receive a mail from my DLP server From the enterprise tab, you can customize this notification message also.